One was uh, that, you know, a lot of debate has been going on for several years about what is green growth. And basically, one of the messages that I took was we don't have to spend so much time agreeing on definitions before doing something. As long as we know what we all mean or the vision that we have about green growth, basically some basic principles about uh, providing uh, opportunities for economic activity which do not, does not undermine the environment and of course leads to well-being for everybody. So that's the vision, let's just do it. We don't have to wait until we have all the definitions. That's one message. The other message was green growth or green economy in itself is not sustainable development. It's not equivalent. It's a condition that is necessary but not sufficient. We need other things to really make great, uh, sustainable development. And the third message I took was a lot of people, a lot of stakeholders across all sectors, business, government, civil society, are ready to move forward to try uh, some of the things that work and then we continue accumulating experience as we move along. Nature is important for the de development because everything that we use for our development, be it economic development, be it eco uh, development in other, other dimensions, like you know, you can develop spiritually, you can develop emotionally. Nature provides all the ingredients and all the resources we need for our development. So definitely we cannot continue to, de to develop while undermining nature because it means ultimately we are undermining ourselves, the, 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 the foundations on which our development and our uh, well-being depend. Uh, today confirmed something that I had already seen uh, at the Rio Plus 20 conference. There, are, there is incredible energy out there. People who really want to move towards sustainable development. And sometimes you have a sense that it's the governments which are somehow reluctant. But across the other sectors, civil society, business, uh, corporation, etc they are really ready to move so let's have those leaders let uh, provide them the opportunity to move and an organization such as IUCN I think we are very well placed because precisely we help to bring them together like at this congress and we help bri uh, bridge uh, between the different communities